Hey folks, with Adobe adding AI enhanced tools to the software, many people start to ask, will the alternative software like Affinity Photo, GIMP or Photopeel will be able to compete with those new tools enhanced by AI? And I got a good news for you guys. We got the very first AI enhanced tool in Photopeel. So let's uh, take a look. Today we're going to test out the brand new tool in Photopea. Photopea is like an alternative to Photoshop that you can run directly in your web browser. That's just photopea.com. You can use it for free with ads or just pay like five bucks per month to get rid of the ads. And that's the deal. All right, so here's my picture. We got some birdie and we're going to use a tool called Magic Replace. As you can guess, it's AI enhanced. So in that case, we will be able to select the area of the image we wanna replace, but also give it a prompt. So it's not like content aware. In the past, content aware simply analyzed the image and tried to replace the area with the same thing. So if there was like balloon on the sky, it was able to add more sky, more clouds and cover up this area that we wanna cover. In that case, we can be more specific and the content that we're going to replace our existing thing is like generated by some AI, all right? So that's what Adobe is doing right now and that's what Photopea been working on as well. So let's uh, take a look. I'm going to select this over here. We don't need to be precise. We're just selecting the area. Then at the top, we can give it a prompt. I will say I want a cat on the tree, not a bird. And then I will hit replace. It's processing right now. Usually it will take a moment. And we should have our result. And here it is. There's a cat on this tree. How is the result? you can judge for yourself. I really like the fact that it's managed to kind of replicate the branch of the tree, even keep this leaf in front of the cat. So that was really nice. The cat is not looking that well. So what we can do is to simply undo the whole thing and try to generate the content again. That's the thing with AI tools. You will may get a better or worse result with the second try. So let's give it a go one more time. We are generating a new content to fill in this image and take a look, totally different cat. And it's really not a bad thing. Take a look. We managed to replace the bird with the cat, took us a few seconds. Even the skill graphic designer will need a time to remove the bird, completely recreate the branches copy and paste some card from different image. So that's definitely a helpful thing. All right, let's keep testing. I got another picture over here. I'm going to select this car using the magic replace. And let's type red car. All right, now we wanna replace that with another car. Let's see how it will turn out. <laughs> that's really good. Nice result, I would say. So take a look. We modify some kind of stock image, replace part of it using the AI engine, and we end up with our own image that is based on a stock one. So we didn't just generate the whole thing by AI, just ask AI to replace a little fragment. So that's really interesting approach. And here's one more with the butterfly. All right, so again, a rough selection around the area we plan to replace. And then we give it a prompt. So let's go for, for a flower this time, click replace. We must wait for processing and sometimes you need to wait a few seconds longer than that. The processing disappeared, but we're still waiting for the result. All right, that's the bird. I asked for the flower, so that's weird. Let's try again then. I will undo. And 
And let's hit replace again. All right. And that's a bird again. I wonder why. All right. <laughs> let's give it a different prompt and then we'll back to flower. So I'll undo this stuff first. All right, and let's type dog and check the result of that. I really like how the new content is usually well mixed with the backdrop. All right, here's our dog, so that's correct. And as I mentioned, the backdrop and the new content is quite well mixed. You cannot tell easily that it was like just copy and paste here. All right, let's undo that and try with flower again. That's what I really want to get here. All right, and here it is. We end up with a flower, not in the first try, but that's the charm of AI enhanced tools. We can keep trying and checking different results. All right. And I think it's it's really nice. We got shadow here and it's nicely blend with the backdrop for a few seconds. That's a really great result. So we managed to turn bird into a cat on the tree. We managed to turn yellow car into red car and we managed to turn a butterfly into a flower. And that took us just a few minutes and three different pictures. So I can definitely see the potential behind AI enhanced tools. It's still a new thing. And I hope that Photopea and in future also Affinity Photo will able to catch up with some of those new tools that Adobe is enrolling with the new AI engine called Adobe Firefly. All right, so let's keep our eyes peeled and let's just test it out for ourselves. Maybe we can use those tools in our advantage. We are not talking about generating art with AI. We're just talking about tools that can be enhanced with AI working in the backdrop. So this one, as you can guess, this is our old good content hour, but this time we can actually decide what will be the new content and the AI try to fill the gap based on our prompt, not only based on the surrounding. So that's nice. All right. Thank you for today. And I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.